Hello and welcome to tutorial 152 and we're going to be looking at the advanced decline line and specifically using two symbols the dollar sign ADV SP and the dollar sign DECCL SP both applied to a daily chart on the right in the blue and we've got a little program down here called advanced decline and what this is doing is calculating the cumulative value of the difference between the advance and the decline. So if we look at that um, program, and uh, this is a little simple program, we've got uh, the inputs defining the uh, close of data one, uh, deck issues, close of data two, they're the two uh, symbols I just talked about. And then we're using the advance decline difference function to calculate the advance decline and we're plotting it. And if you were to right click this and uh, open the function, you'll see that this simply is just taking the uh, advance decline. It takes what the advance decline, decline uh, running total was yesterday and adds the adv issues minus deck issues. So it keeps a sort of cumulative value. And uh, we've, got, uh, we've got this applied to a daily chart and you can see the result here in yellow at the bottom. Now, you'll see that it's around about uh, 1,800. If we apply the same little program to a 15 minute chart, you'll see here that the value is completely different, about 62,000. Now, I've got these charts starting at roughly the same time, so that's uh, important, that's not the difference. Um, and what it really is, is that what we're doing in the 15 minute chart is each bar is taking a little snapshot. And so the reason that this doesn't work is what we actually need to do is go back and uh, do the calculation at the end of the last day. So that's what we're going to be doing in this program. And uh, we're also going to be calculating a slope. Uh, so I'll, I'll demonstrate those two things. And what I'm going to do is talk you through the program but essentially what we've got here if we look at uh, our calculation 1423 and then just go back to the previous bar you'll see that that is I uh, don't think you can quite see that on the screen but 1422 now you'll notice there is a slight difference and that is because the uh, the daily values of a symbol are often slightly adjusted and slightly different but if that's not an issue for you then this is a good technique about using this type of program on a minute interval chart so let's have a look at the program and uh, let's just look to start with at the daily program uh, the interval setting is daily and we know that if we use bar type equals two what we do is we simply say the the cumul adv deck the uh, the amount of the value that we're plotting is equal to what the value was the previous bar, in other words, yesterday, because this is on a, a daily chart, plus today's adv issue and deck issues. It's as simple as that. And that's the same as the, uh, the little program that I just showed you. Now, slightly different with the minute bar. So a minute interval, so that could be any one minute, two minute, 15 minute, etc. The bar type is equal to one. And what we need to do is make sure that we do the calculation the uh, when the day has just finished. And we know we can do that by saying if date is not the same as the date, the previous bar. And then we do the calculation similarly as how we did it before. Cumul av deck is equal to the cumul av deck yesterday plus the uh, advanced issues and the the uh, declining issues. Now you'll notice that I put these um, the values yesterday because we're doing this at the end of the bar so we want to use that information to say what the value is at the end of the bar and that will then match the uh, equivalent value on the daily chart. Now what if we wanted to keep the value or calculate the value throughout the day as it develops and then so what you've got here on the chart we've got the uh, the value that I just showed you the calculation for we've also got this sort of wiggly uh, pale blue line and uh, what that's doing is calculating the value tick by tick so you can see how that develops during the day 
So let me just show you how that is calculated. And uh, what we do, this one, as I say, is calculated when day date is not equal to date the previous bar. But then what we do, we have a new variable, min cumul av dec. Sorry, it's not very easy to pronounce. And that is equal to the cumul av deck. Now remember, this is only calculated at the uh, the end, of, well, effectively when the new bar has started. So that is going to stay the same for all the minute, 15 minute, two minute, whatever your interval is throughout the day. And then we just update it with what the av issues and deck issues, um, av issues minus deck issues during the day. And that gives us the, uh, the varying line. And then we plot that. And we only plot that if it's on a minute interval chart. So I think you see those are relatively straightforward and um, what I also did was uh, calculated the slope. So if we go back to the daily chart you'll see we've got this orange line and what that's doing is calculating the slope and if we just look at our inputs you'll see that uh, for this program 152 um, format issues close of data one deck issues close of data two but then we've got this thing lr length and i've got that set to five it's got to be a number above one and what that's doing is using the linear regression to calculate the slope so let me just show you the calculation for daily bars now you could just use linear regression with this, that would be uh, fine. But what I've done, I've just spelled the calculation out. In fact, there's a little bit of the calculation that only needs to be done once. So I'll show you that. And that is up here in the once statement. So we can calculate sum x, sum x squared and divisor. But then there's another part of the calculation that we need to do every, uh, every, every bar. And that is what we do here essentially going from uh, the count of um, zero to the uh, length minus one. So that would be two, four. And then we're doing this calculation. And because we're using the daily bar, we can just simply refer to the values of those bars. Um, one bar ago, two bars ago, three bars ago, four bars ago, etc. And then we, uh, we calculate the slope. Now, it's not quite so straightforward with the minute bars. So let me just... Uh, demonstrate that and that is because we can't just go what well, we could but it wouldn't give us the same result we can't just go back to the previous bar the bar before that the bar before that we can but it's not what we need what we need are the values for each day and there's a number of ways of doing this what i've done in this program is each time um, the value is calculated i put it into an array and then i've just shuffled that array so that we've got the, uh, the number of values that we've got in the length um, variable. In other words, uh, rather the length input, which is LR length. And then to do the equivalent calculation, which actually looks very similar. So this is the uh, part of the program where we shuffle the values. So we've always got the most recent in the zero position, then the next most recent in the first position, the next most recent in... Um, the second and so forth. What we then do with the latest calculation is we slot it into the zero position and then we go through a calculation which is very similar to the one that I've just showed you. But now rather than referring to the, uh, as it was, the uh, cumul av dec value, which is just the value per bar, what we're doing is referring to the values in the array and the uh, the calculations line up quite nicely together to use that value and then we we calculate the slope and uh, we can plot that now I'm only calculating this once a day so we're not calculating the slope as the uh, the pale blue line varies simply the dark blue line but this is just to uh, demonstrate uh, the technique and then we've got this the uh, the slope plotted here in the purple on the chart so hopefully that might be useful for you. I know I've gone through it uh, very quickly. If you have questions, please email me. And of course, if you are not part of this YouTube channel, please subscribe, please like it, and also join our email list so that I can let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. Thank you very much.